Alright guys, I have made some really good video game pickups in the last like couple weeks or so, and I just wanted to share them with you today. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and let's get into the video. Alright, the first item that I have here is this Game Boy Advance SP. Now this actually has kind of a neat story behind this. Originally, I had a silver one of these that I bought around 2012 or so. I think it was something like the $25 to $50 range. These were not super expensive back then. And that one was really beat to hell and the shoulder buttons didn't really work right. So I was looking for a new one and I checked the prices on eBay and I did not want to spend that much money on a new Game Boy Advance. So instead, I bought a new shell. And that's actually what this uh, shell is here. I took the original one apart, took out the motherboard, took the screen out, put this new one together, and it works perfectly great. I mean, the uh, hinge isn't perfect. You can probably see here once it's like set like this. It's got a little bit more give and slack than it kind of should. But altogether, it's a perfectly well-functioning Game Boy Advance SP. It's adequate for my uses. I'm happy with it. It was only, I think, like 12, 15 bucks or so for the shell. So I saved about a good, seriously, 80 to 90 bucks. These things are expensive as hell right now. And I have a brand new Game Boy Advance SP, so I'm satisfied with it. The next item I have is this PlayStation 2 Slim. Now, my old PlayStation 2 just completely shat out on me maybe 10 years ago or so. So I've been looking out for a new one for a good while now. And if you go on eBay, these things are seriously going for like 100 to 150 bucks or so. So I went over to my local mom and pop place, asked if they had one in stock. They did. Only 70 bucks for this. I picked this up, and obviously a few games. And let's look at the games I got. The first game that I have is also the very first PlayStation 2 game that I ever owned. I got it with my original PS2 back in, like, I think it was Christmas 2001 or so. And that was Final Fantasy X. And what's actually really funny with this is I still had my old PS2 memory card laying around, so I put it in and I was able to find that I still had a save file for Final Fantasy X that was probably more than 10 years old or so. And what was really surprising about that save file is that I was first of all 15 hours into it and already at Mount Gagazette. And I had all the character's ultimate weapons fully upgraded. Because that save file was one that I used to GameShark all those years ago, cheated the living shit out of it, and I still have that save file, which is great because if you are not familiar with this game, those ultimate weapons are a huge pain in the ass to get fully upgraded. And I have never done it without cheating because just dodging those lightning bolts. So this was a lot of fun to be able to just pop this in and get right back into it with all the weapons fully upgraded. So let's look at the next game. So the next PS2 game I got is God of War. This game is a lot of fun. I actually did not play this back in the day on the PS2. The first time I ever played this one was actually on the HD remaster for PS3, which... Do I still have it? I'm gonna be up here. I do still have it. I do still have the HD remaster for this game. But it's actually really fun to also go back and play the original version. And what sucks about this copy of the game, though, is that it doesn't quite seem to work right. Like, I have to try maybe four or five times before the PS2 will load it up. And I know that it's the game and not the PS2, because every other game that I put in, it works perfectly. So, I'm not sure what that's about. I was initially tempted to return this to the store that I got it at, but then I decided to just kind of hold on to it until I find another copy of it, just because this is actually kind of hard to find sometimes. But since I have it, I can, you know, kind of work around with it just enough to be able to play it and enjoy it. Let's get the next game. Alright, the last game that we have to show today is probably the best one. But Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition. Now this is another one where I didn't play this actually on the original release. Rather it wasn't until the HD remaster on PS3 that I finally played this one. Now I played the original Devil May Cry like when it first released. I love that game. It's one of my favorites of all time. And then the second one came out. And it wasn't very good. <laughs> and then when this came out I just was kind of turned away from it. Because that second one left such a bad taste in my mouth. But then when I finally did go back and replay this on the uh, PS3, I found that I was really missing out on a terrific action game. This is definitely a classic that deserves its reputation. Alright guys, so those are my recent video game pickups. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know about your recent video game pickups in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and I hope to see you next time.